welcome back in this video let's go on with the exercises that we started with in the previous video so we would want to do the next one which is sum up to n so let's copy this we would want to find the sum of numbers up to the n so if it's 9 i would want to do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to 9 so let's get started i'll go to the my number runner and i would start with this so in sum is equal to number dot sum up to n right so uh, let's also print it in the output so sum i'll put sum up to n is sum okay so that's kind of basic so let's now as usual command one create method sum up to n so you can see that sum up to n is returning a integer number back and the default method which is created is returning a value of zero that's cool right so what we want to do is find this sum up to n so one plus two plus three so on up to number so that's what we would want to do so how can i do that it's easy right so we need to put it in a for loop you're becoming an expert on this right now so i we need to start with i is equal to one i less than equal to n i plus plus right over here what we want to do is to do the sum so when we are doing the sum how do we store the value so the way we would be doing this is you would have sum of one sum of one plus two one plus two plus three and so on up to number and for storing that we would need to have a temporary variable before that this should have been actually number because number is what we are using in here so how do we have a sum variable here int sum and you need to initialize the value of sum to zero because that's the initial value in the sum and after that what we would want to do is we would want to each time we are looping what we want to do is add i to it so sum plus i sum is equal to sum plus i what happens when i is one sum is zero so sum one zero plus one would be into sum next the loop goes to two so zero plus one is one so one will be in sum and one plus two three will be what would be in the output if you are having a difficulty understanding this logic do not worry at all try and debug this so try and put a debug point in here and go to the runner class and you can do a right click debug as a java application where the code would stop in here and then you'd be able to figure out what's happening in the background over here instead of zero i would want to return the sum back now let's go ahead and run this so you'd see that sum up to n is printing as 21 and we are passing a 6 so 6 plus 5 plus so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus plus 5 plus 6 is 21 you can verify that that where if that's true so this is sum up to n this is kind of the starting point where we are going into a little bit of more complex logic here we stored a temporary variable called sum and at each iteration we are adding the value of i to it so by the end of the iterations we will have the sum of n numbers in this specific variable move on to the next exercise this is called sum of divisors so let's copy this down my number runner in sum of divisors let's copy the system dot out dot println as well sum of divisors and sum of divisors let's go ahead and create the method control one command one create method sum of divisors it's written as zero that's cool so now i would want to do a sum of divisors you can try and pause the video and see if you would be able to do it on yourself so if the number is six then i would want to get the sum of all the divisors of six except one and six right so i don't want to include one and six so first if the input is six except one and six all the other divisors which is two comma three i'd want to add them up and i would want to return five back right so how do i do that think about it i can do something very similar to sum up to n right so i can i'm copying the code in here for sum up to n this is returning the sum back so let's fix that so this would be as it is is returning sum of everything so it returns sum of one two six right I don't want to include one and six in here so i'll say i is equal to two i'll say i less than number because i don't want to include the number also so if the number is six i would want to go from two to four sorry i would want to go from two to five so 
2 to 1 less than the number. So that's why I made it i less than equal to number or you can say i less than equal to number minus 1. Both of the options are good. So I would want to do a sum is equal to sum plus i. But I don't want to do it for every number. So the code as it is right now would return the logic for 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, right? So if I pass in an input of 6, it adds 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. I would want to add only those numbers which are divisors of 6. How do I find out if the number is divisor of 6? Or a div I can say number mod i is equal to is equal to 0. If i is a divisor of the number, only then add it. Cool, isn't it cool? So, what we are doing in here, we are looping from 2 to 4. If the number is 6, what we are doing is looping from 2 to 4, 2 to 5 actually, and checking if 6 is divisible by each of those. If it's divisible, if it leaves a remainder 0, then I am incrementing the sum. Let's see what would happen now. I'll run the program. You can see that sum of divisors for 6 is 5. Let's pass in a different number. Let's pass in 9. For 9, the divisors are 1, 3, and 9 itself. So we want to exclude 1 and 9. So the only other divisor is 3. So the sum should be 3. So for 9, it's 3. That's cool, right? So what we have in here is a very simple program to calculate the sum of the divisors of a number. In this video, until now, we looked at sum up to n numbers and sum of divisors. We will look at a couple of other exercises in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. This video is part of a Java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on Java. You can find the complete course details in the description of the video. Along with it, you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes creating great programmers.